Your Business Podcast with Frank Furness. Well, hi, everybody, and welcome to Sales School. And this is Frank Furness, where we're going to help you make more money by mastering sales, dominating marketing, and really being happy. In the next episodes, we're going to be taking a look at the sales cycle, the actual sale, first, second call, relaxing the client. So, hey, enjoy today's episode. I love social media, and what I love is how the whole world has changed with social media. I mean, if you think about some of the changes over there, TV, television, movies, everything has now moved over to YouTube. YouTube is absolutely massive. I mean, a 26 and a 29-year-old that started up YouTube, 18 months worked in their dad's garage, made no money, and then YouTube bought them out for $1.65 billion. Like, huge. YouTube is massive. There's a thing called Snapchat at the moment. It gives you 10-second bursts of, from your iPhone to somebody else's iPhone. It's visual. 23-year-old just turned down $3 billion dollars for that. So everything is now making that move to YouTube. Think about books. I'm an avid reader and I every plane I got onto I used to have two or three thick books and it used to really weigh me down carrying them around. Now it's gone on to Kindle. I've got 650 books on my Kindle. If I'm flying I can either read a business book, I can read fiction, non-fiction, I can, whatever I want I can read. I've got it at my fingertips. It's light and it's so easy. CDs. Now, some of you watching this are saying, huh? What's a CD? Well, if I go back, I started life out with a thing called an 8-track. And then we became revolutionary. We had audio cassette tapes. That was amazing. And then along came this thing called a CD. Wow, this was absolutely brilliant. Guess what? All of that's gone now. I have a whole collection of CDs sitting at home. They're pretty pointless. And what I've done is I've just streamed them. They're now in my iPhone. Because, you know, one CD, uh, if you carry around uh, 500 CDs, I tell you what, you'd have a suitcase. I can have 500 CDs on my iPhone. So everything has moved over to iTunes. The big one over there, iTunes. PR. PR has changed because you can now get free information. The old yellow pages. I don't know if anyone watching this remembers a thing called yellow pages. If you wanted a plumber, you would go in and you would look for plumbers under yellow pages. You had to take a chance. If they had a lot of money, they paid for a full page ad and you thought maybe they were good. Now, with Google, you go in and you Google a plumber. Now you can check out their website. You can look at any feedback on that person. Reviews. What have people said about them? Are they good? Are they bad? You could never do that in the yellow pages. Also, there's a move from broad to targeted advertising. Now, one of the products I sell is a business card scanner. It's a one-page website that says problem, solution, action. Google is never going to do anything with this website because there's no new information. It's basically a one-page static selling site. So I had to pay for Google AdWords to get me right up there. Problem was it cost me a fortune. And my return when I looked at it wasn't that great. Now I've moved to targeted ads. Targeted ads are fantastic because I can say... I only want to sell this business card scanner in the UK. I don't want to be posting it all over the world. And the ideal profile are small businesses between 5 to 17 people. So let me target that ad to those kind of companies. And I can target to those on LinkedIn, on Facebook, on YouTube. And it's now way better than the old style of broad advertising. And for me, the biggest change that has happened is what I call the move from interruption marketing to attraction marketing. You see, when I think about the old days, I used to cold call. So I'm interrupting somebody. I've got to be really good on the phone, try and convince them to see me, buy my product or service when they're really pretty happy with their existing supplier. I'm interrupting everything they're doing. My sales pitch has to be fantastic. My presentation, amazing, to get them to move over to me. Now that has moved over to attraction marketing. A 
traction marketing, people have got a problem and they're going onto the internet and they're saying, listen, my computer system is slow. Can somebody help me? Now, if you're going on and you're using apps like Twilight, if you're using Google Alerts, what you're hearing is this cry for help. You're going in and you're talking to these people. You're getting a conversation going. Eventually, they're going to say, hmm, these people seem to know what they're talking about and you get the business. So there's a huge amount of change that is happening now with the move to social media and you've really got to say to yourself, am I living in the old days or have I caught up with it? And you've got to get onto the bandwagon. This is where it's all happening. Do what you've always done in the past that has made you successful. Your old way of prospecting, going out, networking, that kind of stuff. But then accept that social media is now the new media marketing and you have got to be doing it. Not yourself, you might even have to bring in a team or outsource all of that to someone else. Well, I really hope you enjoyed today's podcast. And remember, if you'd like to book me to speak at your next conference or do some sales training, either in person or via Zoom remotely, please drop me an email, frank at frankfurnace.com. Also, please take a look at my website, frankfurnace.com. And take a look at some of my courses on productivitycenter.com. Remember also to connect with me on all of the social media channels. They're all under Frank Furness, especially LinkedIn, where I'm almost up to 30,000. And every day I have some great new ideas and tips on sales, marketing, speaking, and anything that will make you money. Hey, this is Frank. See you in the next episode.